a metamaterial from the Greek word metameta, meaning beyond, and the Latin word materia, meaning matter or material, is a material engineered to have a property that is not found in naturally occurring materials. They are made from assemblies of multiple elements fashioned from composite materials such as metals or plastics. The materials are usually arranged in repeating patterns, at scales that are smaller than the wavelengths of the phenomena they influence. Metamaterials derive their properties not from the properties of the base materials, but from their newly designed structures. Their precise shape, geometry, size, orientation and arrangement gives them their smart properties capable of manipulating electromagnetic waves, by blocking, absorbing, enhancing, or bending waves, to achieve benefits that go beyond what is possible with conventional materials. Appropriately designed metamaterials can affect waves of electromagnetic radiation or sound in a manner not observed in bulk materials. Those that exhibit a negative index of refraction for particular wavelengths have attracted significant research. These materials are known as negative index metamaterials. Potential applications of metamaterials are diverse and include optical filters, medical devices, remote aerospace applications, sensor detection and infrastructure monitoring, smart solar power management, crowd control, radomes, high-frequency battlefield communication and lenses for high-gain antennas, improving ultrasonic sensors, and even shielding structures from earthquakes. Metamaterials offer the potential to create superlenses. Such a lens could allow imaging below the diffraction limit that is the minimum resolution that can be achieved by conventional glass lenses. A form of invisibility was demonstrated using gradient index materials. Acoustic and seismic metamaterials are also research areas. Metamaterial research is interdisciplinary and involves such fields as electrical engineering, electromagnetics, classical optics, solid state physics, microwave and antenna engineering, optoelectronics, material sciences, nanoscience, and semiconductor engineering. Topic history Explorations of artificial materials for manipulating electromagnetic waves began at the end of the 19th century. Some of the earliest structures that may be considered metamaterials were studied by Jagadish Chandra Bose, who in 1898 researched substances with chiral properties. Carl Ferdinand Lindemann studied wave interaction with metallic helices as artificial chiral media in the early 20th century. Winston E. Koch developed materials that had similar characteristics to metamaterials in the late 1940s. In the 1950s and 1960s, artificial dielectrics were studied for lightweight microwave antennas. Microwave radar absorbers were researched in the 1980s and 1990s as applications for artificial chiral media. Negative index materials were first described theoretically by Victor Veselago in 1967. He proved that such materials could transmit light. He showed that the phase velocity could be made anti parallel to the direction of pointing vector. This is contrary to wave propagation in naturally occurring materials. John Pendry was the first to identify a practical way to make a left handed metamaterial, a material in which the right hand rule is not followed. Such a material allows an electromagnetic wave to convey energy have a group velocity against its phase velocity. Pendry's idea was that metallic wires aligned along the direction of a wave could provide negative permittivity dielectric function epsilon in 2000, Smith et al. reported the experimental demonstration of functioning electromagnetic metamaterials by horizontally stacking, periodically, split ring resonators and thin wire structures. A method was provided in 2002 to realize negative index metamaterials using artificial lumped element loaded transmission lines in microstrip technology. In 2003, complex both real and imaginary parts of negative refractive index and imaging by flat lens using left-handed metamaterials were demonstrated. By 2007, experiments that involved negative refractive index had been conducted by many groups. 
At microwave frequencies, the first, imperfect invisibility cloak was realized in 2006. Topic electromagnetic metamaterials An electromagnetic metamaterial affects electromagnetic waves that impinge on or interact with its structural features, which are smaller than the wavelength. To behave as a homogeneous material accurately described by an effective refractive index, its features must be much smaller than the wavelength. For microwave radiation, the features are on the order of millimeters. Microwave frequency metamaterials are usually constructed as arrays of electrically conductive elements such as loops of wire that have suitable inductive and capacitive characteristics. One microwave metamaterial uses the split ring resonator. Photonic metamaterials, nanometer scale, manipulate light at optical frequencies. To date, subwavelength structures have shown only a few questionable results at visible wavelengths. Photonic crystals and frequency selective surfaces such as diffraction gratings, dielectric mirrors and optical coatings exhibit similarities to subwavelength structured metamaterials. However, these are usually considered distinct from subwavelength structures, as their features are structured for the wavelength at which they function and thus cannot be approximated as a homogeneous material. However, material structures such as photonic crystals are effective in the visible light spectrum. The middle of the visible spectrum has a wavelength of approximately 560 nm for sunlight. Photonic crystal structures are generally half this size or smaller, that is frequency selective surfaces FSS can exhibit subwavelength characteristics and are known variously as artificial magnetic conductors AMC or high impedance surfaces HIS. FSS display inductive and capacitive characteristics that are directly related to their subwavelength structure. Topic negative refractive index Almost all materials encountered in optics, such as glass or water, have positive values for both permittivity epsilon and permeability micro. However, metals such as silver and gold have negative permittivity at shorter wavelengths. A material such as a surface plasmon that has either but not both epsilon or micro negative is often opaque to electromagnetic radiation. However, anisotropic materials with only negative permittivity can produce negative refraction due to chirality, although the optical properties of a transparent material are fully specified by the parameters epsilon r and micro r. Refractive index n is often used in practice, which can be determined from n equals plus or minus e r mu r display style script style n equals p m s q r t epsilon underscore mathrm r mu underscore mathrm R. All known non-metamaterial transparent materials possess positive epsilon r and micro r. By convention the positive square root is used for n. However, some engineered metamaterials have epsilon r. The foregoing considerations are simplistic for actual materials, which must have complex valued epsilon r and micro r. The real parts of both epsilon r and micro r do not have to be negative for a passive material to display negative refraction. Metamaterials with negative n have numerous interesting properties. Snell's law n1 sin theta1 equals n2 sin theta2, but as n2 is negative, the rays are refracted on the same side of the normal on entering the material. Cherenkov radiation points the other way. The time average pointing vector is antiparallel to phase velocity. However, for waves energy to propagate, a micro must be paired with a epsilon in order to satisfy the wave number dependence on the material parameters Kc equals omega mu e display style Kc equals omega sqrt mu epsilon. Negative index of refraction derives mathematically from the vector triplet e, h, and k for plane waves propagating in electromagnetic metamaterials. The electric field, magnetic field, and wave vector follow a left-hand rule, the reverse of the behavior of conventional optical materials. Classification Electromagnetic metamaterials are divided into different classes, as follows. 
Topic: <laughs> Negative index. In negative index metamaterials NIM, both permittivity and permeability are negative, resulting in a negative index of refraction. These are also known as double negative metamaterials or double negative materials DNG. Other terms for NIMS include, "...left-handed media", media with a negative refractive index, and "...backward wave media". In optical materials, if both permittivity epsilon and permeability micro are positive, wave propagation travels in the forward direction. If both epsilon and micro are negative, a backward wave is produced. If epsilon and micro have different polarities, waves do not propagate. Mathematically, quadrant 2 and quadrant IV have coordinates 0, 0 in a coordinate plane where epsilon is the horizontal axis, and micro is the vertical axis. To date, only metamaterials exhibit a negative index of refraction. Topic: single negative. Single negative (SNG) metamaterials have either negative relative permittivity (epsilon r) or negative relative permeability (micro r), but not both. They act as metamaterials when combined with a different complementary SNG, jointly acting as a DNG. Epsilon negative media display a negative epsilon r while micro r is positive. Many plasmas exhibit this characteristic. For example, noble metals such as gold or silver are eng in the infrared and visible spectrums. Mu negative media display a positive epsilon r and negative micro r. Gyrotropic or gyromagnetic materials exhibit this characteristic. A gyrotropic material is one that has been altered by the presence of a quasi-static magnetic field, enabling a magneto-optic effect. A magneto-optic effect is a phenomenon in which an electromagnetic wave propagates through such a medium. In such a material, left and right rotating elliptical polarizations can propagate at different speeds. When light is transmitted through a layer of magneto optic material, the result is called the Faraday effect. The polarization plane can be rotated, forming a Faraday rotator. The results of such a reflection are known as the magneto optic Kerr effect, not to be confused with the nonlinear Kerr effect. Two gyrotropic materials with reversed rotation directions of the two principal polarizations are called optical isomers. Joining a slab of eng material and slab of MNG material resulted in properties such as resonances, anomalous tunneling, transparency and zero reflection. Like negative index materials, SNGs are innately dispersive, so their epsilon r, micro r and refraction index n, are a function of frequency. <laughs> Band gap. Electromagnetic bandgap metamaterials EBG or EBM control light propagation. This is accomplished either with photonic crystals PC or left-handed materials LHM. PCs can prohibit light propagation altogether. Both classes can allow light to propagate in specific, designed directions and both can be designed with bandgaps at desired frequencies. The period size of EBGs is an appreciable fraction of the wavelength, creating constructive and destructive interference. PC are distinguished from sub-wavelength structures, such as tunable metamaterials, because the PC derives its properties from its bandgap characteristics. PCs are sized to match the wavelength of light, versus other metamaterials that expose sub-wavelength structure. Furthermore, PCs function by diffracting light. In contrast, metamaterial does not use diffraction. PCs have periodic inclusions that inhibit wave propagation due to the inclusion's destructive interference from scattering. The photonic bandgap property of PCs makes them the electromagnetic analog of electronic semiconductor crystals. EBGs have the goal of creating high-quality, low-loss, periodic dielectric structures. An EBG affects photons in the same way semiconductor materials affect electrons. 
PCs are the perfect bandgap material, because they allow no light propagation. Each unit of the prescribed periodic structure acts like one atom, albeit of a much larger size. EBGs are designed to prevent the propagation of an allocated bandwidth of frequencies, for certain arrival angles and polarizations. Various geometries and structures have been proposed to fabricate EBG's special properties. In practice it is impossible to build a flawless EBG device. EBGs have been manufactured for frequencies ranging from a few gigahertz GHZ to a few terahertz THZ, radio, microwave and mid-infrared frequency regions. EBG application developments include a transmission line, wood piles made of square dielectric bars and several different types of low-gain antennas. Topic: Double positive medium. Double positive mediums (DPS) do occur in nature, such as naturally occurring dielectrics. Permittivity and magnetic permeability are both positive, and wave propagation is in the forward direction. Artificial materials have been fabricated which combine DPS, ENG, and MNG properties. topic bi-isotropic and bi-anisotropic categorizing metamaterials into double or single negative or double positive normally assumes that the metamaterial has independent electric and magnetic responses described by epsilon and micro However, in many cases, the electric field causes magnetic polarization, while the magnetic field induces electrical polarization, known as magnetoelectric coupling. Such media are denoted as bi-isotropic. Media that exhibit magnetoelectric coupling and that are anisotropic which is the case for many metamaterial structures, are referred to as bi-anisotropic. Four material parameters are intrinsic to magnetoelectric coupling of bi-isotropic media. They are the electric e and magnetic H field strengths, and electric D and magnetic B flux densities. These parameters are epsilon, micro, kappa and chi or permittivity, permeability, strength of chirality, and the teleigen parameter respectively. In this type of media, material parameters do not vary with changes along a rotated coordinate system of measurements. In this sense they are invariant or scalar. The intrinsic magnetoelectric parameters, kappa and chi, affect the phase of the wave. The effect of the chirality parameter is to split the refractive index. In isotropic media this results in wave propagation only if epsilon and micro have the same sign. In bi-isotropic media with chi assumed to be zero, and kappa a non-zero value, different results appear. Either a backward wave or a forward wave can occur. Alternatively, two forward waves or two backward waves can occur, depending on the strength of the chirality parameter. In the general case, the constitutive relations for bi-anisotropic materials read d equals e e plus she h Display style math bf d equals epsilon math bf e plus she math bf h b equals zeta e plus mu h display style math bf b equals zeta math bf e plus mu math bf h where E display style epsilon and mu display style mu are the permittivity and the permeability tensors, respectively. Whereas she display style she and zeta display style zeta are the two magnetoelectric tensors. If the medium is reciprocal, permittivity and permeability are symmetric tensors, and she equals minus zeta t 
equals minus i kappa t display style she equals zeta caret t equals i kappa caret t where kappa display style kappa is the chiral tensor describing chiral electromagnetic and reciprocal magnetoelectric response the chiral tensor can be expressed as kappa equals 1 3 tr kappa i plus n plus j Display style kappa equals tfrac one three operator name tr kappa i plus n plus j, where tr kappa display style operator name tr kappa is the trace of kappa display style kappa. I is the identity matrix, N is a symmetric trace-free tensor, and J is an anti-symmetric tensor. Such decomposition allows us to classify the reciprocal bionisotropic response and we can identify the following three main classes, I chiral media Tr kappa does not equal 0 N does not equal Zero J equals zero. Display style operator name TR kappa NEQ zero N NEQ zero J equals zero I I pseudotural media TR kappa equals zero N does not equal Zero J equals zero. Display style operator name TR kappa equals zero N N E Q zero J equals zero I I I Omega Media TR kappa equals zero N equals Zero J does not equal zero. Display style operator name TR kappa equals zero N equals zero J N E Q zero. Generally, the chiral and or bionisotropic electromagnetic response is a consequence of 3D geometrical chirality. 3D chiral metamaterials are composed by embedding 3D chiral structures in a host medium and they show chirality related polarization effects such as optical activity and circular dichroism. The concept of 2D chirality also exists, and a planar object is said to be chiral if it cannot be superposed onto its mirror image unless it is lifted from the plane. On the other hand, bionisotropic response can arise from geometrical achiral structures possessing neither 2D nor 3D intrinsic chirality. Plum et al. investigated extrinsic chiral metamaterials where the magneto-electric coupling results from the geometric chirality of the whole structure and the effect is driven by the radiation wave vector contributing to the overall chiral asymmetry extrinsic electromagnetic chirality. Rizza et al. suggested 1D chiral metamaterials where the effective chiral tensor is not vanishing if the system is geometrically one-dimensional chiral the mirror image of the entire structure cannot be superposed onto it by using translations without rotations. <laughs> chiral Chiral metamaterials are constructed from chiral materials in which the effective parameter K is non-zero. This is a potential source of confusion as the metamaterial literature includes two conflicting uses of the terms left and right-handed. The first refers to one of the two circularly polarized waves that are the propagating modes in chiral media. 
The second relates to the triplet of electric field, magnetic field and pointing vector that arise in negative refractive index media, which in most cases are not chiral. Wave propagation properties in chiral metamaterials demonstrate that negative refraction can be realized in metamaterials with a strong chirality and positive epsilon and mu. This is because the refractive index has distinct values for left and right, given by n equals er mu r plus or minus kappa display style n equals sqrt epsilon underscore r mu underscore r pm kappa it can be seen that a negative index will occur for one polarization if kappa greater than square root epsilon r micro r in this case, it is not necessary that either or both epsilon r and micro r be negative for backward wave propagation. Topic: <laughs> FSS based. Frequency selective surface based metamaterials block signals in one waveband and pass those at another waveband. They have become an alternative to fixed frequency metamaterials. They allow for optional changes of frequencies in a single medium, rather than the restrictive limitations of a fixed frequency response. Topic: Other types. Topic: Elastic. These metamaterials use different parameters to achieve a negative index of refraction in materials that are not electromagnetic. Furthermore, a new design for elastic metamaterials that can behave either as liquids or solids over a limited frequency range may enable new applications based on the control of acoustic, elastic and seismic waves. They are also called mechanical metamaterials. Acoustic Acoustic metamaterials control, direct and manipulate sound in the form of sonic, infrasonic or ultrasonic waves in gases, liquids and solids. As with electromagnetic waves, sonic waves can exhibit negative refraction. Control of sound waves is mostly accomplished through the bulk modulus beta, mass density rho and chirality. The bulk modulus and density are analogs of permittivity and permeability in electromagnetic metamaterials. Related to this is the mechanics of sound wave propagation in a lattice structure. Also materials have mass and intrinsic degrees of stiffness. Together, these form a resonance system and the mechanical sonic resonance may be excited by appropriate sonic frequencies for example audible pulses. Topic. Structural Structural metamaterials provide properties such as crushability and light weight. Using projection microstereolithography, microlattices can be created using forms much like trusses and girders. Materials four orders of magnitude stiffer than conventional aerogel, but with the same density have been created. Such materials can withstand a load of at least 160,000 times their own weight by over constraining the materials. A ceramic nanotrus metamaterial can be flattened and revert to its original state. Topic: <laughs> Nonlinear Metamaterials may be fabricated that include some form of nonlinear media, whose properties change with the power of the incident wave. Nonlinear media are essential for nonlinear optics. Most optical materials have a relatively weak response, meaning that their properties change by only a small amount for large changes in the intensity of the electromagnetic field. The local electromagnetic fields of the inclusions in nonlinear metamaterials can be much larger than the average value of the field. 
Besides, remarkable nonlinear effects have been predicted and observed if the metamaterial effective dielectric permittivity is very small epsilon near zero media. In addition, exotic properties such as a negative refractive index, create opportunities to tailor the phase matching conditions that must be satisfied in any nonlinear optical structure. Frequency bands Terahertz Terahertz metamaterials interact at terahertz frequencies, usually defined as 0.1 to 10 terahertz. Terahertz radiation lies at the far end of the infrared band, just after the end of the microwave band. This corresponds to millimeter and submillimeter wavelengths between the 3 mm EHF band and 0.03 mm long wavelength edge of far infrared light. Topic: <laughs> Photonic. Photonic metamaterial interact with optical frequencies mid infrared. The sub-wavelength period distinguishes them from photonic band gap structures. Topic: <tunable>, Tunable. Tunable metamaterials allow arbitrary adjustments to frequency changes in the refractive index. A tunable metamaterial expands beyond the bandwidth limitations in left-handed materials by constructing various types of metamaterials. Topic: <laughs> Plasmonic. Plasmonic metamaterials exploit surface plasmons, which are produced from the interaction of light with metal dielectrics. Under specific conditions, the incident light couples with the surface plasmons to create self-sustaining, propagating electromagnetic waves known as surface plasmon polaritons. Applications Metamaterials are under consideration for many applications. Metamaterial antennas are commercially available. In 2007, one researcher stated that for metamaterial applications to be realized, energy loss must be reduced, materials must be extended into three-dimensional isotropic materials and production techniques must be industrialized. <laughs> Antennas Metamaterial antennas are a class of antennas that use metamaterials to improve performance. Demonstrations showed that metamaterials could enhance an antenna's radiated power. Materials that can attain negative permeability allow for properties such as small antenna size, high directivity and tunable frequency. Absorber. A metamaterial absorber manipulates the loss components of metamaterials permittivity and magnetic permeability, to absorb large amounts of electromagnetic radiation. This is a useful feature for photodetection and solar photovoltaic applications. Loss components are also relevant in applications of negative refractive index photonic metamaterials, antenna systems or transformation optics metamaterial cloaking, celestial mechanics, but often are not utilized in these applications. <laughs> Superlens A superlens is a two- or three-dimensional device that uses metamaterials, usually with negative refraction properties, to achieve resolution beyond the diffraction limit ideally, infinite resolution. Such a behavior is enabled by the capability of double negative materials to yield negative phase velocity. The diffraction limit is inherent in conventional optical devices or lenses. Topic. Cloaking devices 
metamaterials are a potential basis for a practical cloaking device. The proof of principle was demonstrated on October 19, 2006. No practical cloaks are publicly known to exist. Topic: RCS radar cross section reducing metamaterials. Conventionally, the RCS has been reduced either by radar absorbent material RAM or by purpose shaping of the targets such that the scattered energy can be redirected away from the source. While RAMs have narrow frequency band functionality, purpose shaping limits the aerodynamic performance of the target. More recently, metamaterials or metasurfaces are synthesized that can redirect the scattered energy away from the source using either array theory or generalized Snell's law. This has led to aerodynamically favorable shapes for the targets with the reduced RCS. Topic. Seismic protection Seismic metamaterials counteract the adverse effects of seismic waves on man-made structures. Topic. Sound filtering Metamaterials textured with nanoscale wrinkles could control sound or light signals, such as changing a material's color or improving ultrasound resolution. Uses include non-destructive material testing, medical diagnostics and sound suppression. The materials can be made through a high-precision, multi-layer deposition process. The thickness of each layer can be controlled within a fraction of a wavelength. The material is then compressed, creating precise wrinkles whose spacing can cause scattering of selected frequencies. Topic: Theoretical models. All materials are made of atoms, which are dipoles. These dipoles modify light velocity by a factor n, the refractive index. In a split ring resonator, the ring and wire units act as atomic dipoles, the wire acts as a ferroelectric atom, while the ring acts as an inductor L, while the open section acts as a capacitor C. The ring as a whole acts as an LC circuit. When the electromagnetic field passes through the ring, an induced current is created. The generated field is perpendicular to the light's magnetic field. The magnetic resonance results in a negative permeability, the refraction index is negative as well. The lens is not truly flat, since the structure's capacitance imposes a slope for the electric induction. Several mathematical material models frequency response in DNGs. One of these is the Lorentz model, which describes electron motion in terms of a driven damped, harmonic oscillator. The Debye relaxation model applies when the acceleration component of the Lorentz mathematical model is small compared to the other components of the equation. The Drude model applies when the restoring force component is negligible and the coupling coefficient is generally the plasma frequency. Other component distinctions call for the use of one of these models, depending on its polarity or purpose, three-dimensional composites of metal, non-metallic inclusions periodically, randomly embedded in a low permittivity matrix are usually modeled by analytical methods, including mixing formulas and scattering matrix-based methods. The particle is modeled by either an electric dipole parallel to the electric field or a pair of crossed electric and magnetic dipoles parallel to the electric and magnetic fields, respectively, of the applied wave. These dipoles are the leading terms in the multipole series. They are the only existing ones for a homogeneous sphere, whose polarizability can be easily obtained from the Mi scattering coefficients. In general, this procedure is known as the point dipole approximation", which is a good approximation for metamaterials consisting of composites of electrically small spheres. Merits of these methods include low calculation cost and mathematical simplicity. Other first principles techniques for analyzing triply periodic electromagnetic media may be found in computing photonic band structure. 
Topic: Institutional networks. Topic: Murray. The Multidisciplinary University Research Initiative encompasses dozens of universities and a few government organizations. Participating universities include UC Berkeley, UC Los Angeles, UC San Diego, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and Imperial College in London. The sponsors are Office of Naval Research and the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency. Murray supports research that intersects more than one traditional science and engineering discipline to accelerate both research and translation to applications. As of 2009, 69 academic institutions were expected to participate in 41 research efforts. Topic: Metamorphos. The Virtual Institute for Artificial Electromagnetic Materials and Metamaterials, Metamorphos VIAISBL is an international association to promote artificial electromagnetic materials and metamaterials. It organizes scientific conferences, supports specialized journals, creates and manages research programs, provides training programs including PhD and training programs for industrial partners, and technology transfer to European industry. See also Metasurface Artificial dielectrics — macroscopic analogues of naturally occurring dielectrics that came into use with the radar microwave technologies developed between the 1940s and 1970s. METATOY — metamaterial for rays composed of super-wavelength structures, such as small arrays of prisms and lenses and can operate over a broad band of frequencies Magnonics Metamaterials journal, Metamaterials Handbook Metamaterials – Physics and Engineering Explorations <laughs>